Lorenzo Bartolini, Emma and Julia Campbell, 1819 to 1820. Emma, Julia, will you stop moving around? How can Maestro Bartolini work? <laughs> the Scottish Lady Charlotte Campbell, traveling to Florence, is very annoyed at her two daughters, who are giggling. How beautiful they are, though. All of Florence was enchanted by their grace. The refinement of their features and the elegance of their gestures made heads turn when they passed by. We are in 1820, and the two girls are posing in the studio of the great sculptor, Lorenzo Bartolini. The occasion is truly exceptional. Bartolini is one of the greatest sculptors of his time, loved by none other than Napoleon himself. The Tuscan artist, who lived in France for a long time, was famous because he was able to represent his figures in a truly natural way, but without forgetting the teachings of the great classics. Have you seen the dresses the Campbell sisters are wearing? Look at the folds on the chest and the frills on the hips. They give the impression that it's a really light fabric. On the legs, it seems so thin that you can see the shape of the knee. They are ancient tunics used at the time of the Roman Empire. A chest tie dress is still called empire style today. Even the sandals look like those worn by young Roman matrons in leather and tied at the ankles. Ah uh, yes, you're right. Impossible not to notice all those black dots. You should know that to create a marble work, the sculptor prepared the plaster model like this one of the Campbell sisters. The black dots are the nails that were inserted in the finished model to be able to transfer the measurements back onto the marble block still to be roughed. They were used in order not to mistake the proportions and shapes already established in the model. Oh, can you hear the music too? It is the Edinburgh Waltz. It looks like the two sisters are dancing. Perched on their toes, a hand lifts the dress, their arms intertwined. They're ready for the great ball. Their eyes meet, and the two girls smile with parted lips. But what secrets are they telling each other? By the way, do you want to discover the secret to making an extraordinary portrait like this one of the Campbell sisters? Then follow us. <music> Snapshots of a statue. To create a beautiful self-portrait that recalls the natural grace of Lorenzo Bartolini's sculptures, here's what we need. One sheet of A4 white card three sheets of A5 acetate, green, blue, and transparent. Scissors, permanent black fine round point marker, a pencil, a glue stick, paper sticky tape, a black and white A5 print of a photo of your profile, cut below the shoulders, as in the image, Place the print of your photo on the white card and secure it with a paper tape. 
overlap the clear acetate sheet and attach it to the white sheet. With the permanent black marker, trace all the contours of your profile. Your shoulders, hair, face, and then your eye, eyebrow, mouth and ear, without forgetting the neckline of your t-shirt. Have you outlined everything? Good. Now, remove your photo from under the acetate and magic. Very elegant, isn't it? It looks just like a Campbell sister's profile. Let's add colour to the portrait with the green and blue sheets. Let's start with the hair. Take the green acetate and tape it over the portrait. With the marker, trace only the outline of your hair. Detach the sheet and voila! The hair is drawn. Cut it out precisely following the outline. And glue it onto the portrait with the glue stick. Wow! Now use the blue acetate to create a background that highlights the silhouette. Place it on the portrait, tape it down and trace only the outermost contour of your profile. Once finished, remove the blue sheet and cut following the outline. Glue the background onto your portrait. My, how lovely! Elegant and natural. Master Bartolini would certainly congratulate you.